Hey guys, what's up? It's been a hot minute, but I figured I'd come on here and do kind of, I'm doing more makeup than I usually would. Uh, lately, I've gotten a different job, so I don't have my nails on anymore, uh, just because I deal with food and I've been washing my hands a lot and... I mean, the red aspen nails will last through that. I just don't want to have to mess around with, like, you know, food and the nails. And I just don't want to do it. So it was just a personal choice. I'm just going to do some more makeup than I usually do. Usually I just do, like, mascara and put my brows on. Uh, I just fill in my brows. Uh, yesterday I actually didn't fill in my brows. So it's totally fine. Like, I'm totally okay with this face. So... I'll show up sometimes like that depends on like how tired I am. I do work nights so it's a little bit harder. Um, I work nights. I usually like like late. Um, I come home and I get to bed really late so then I wake up with my kids at like 7 so I don't get a lot of sleep. So it depends on how tired I am if I want to take a nap or like a 20 minute nap or something before work. Depends on when my husband gets home so everything is just depends on what happens that day. I always, always do my skincare though, which I've been using the same product. I'm not sure if I've introduced it onto my channel yet, but it's the New Skin Nutrisentials pH Balancing Toner. This one is for normal to dry skin. And I do love it. I've Before this, I was using rose water uh, normally. Well, what I am gonna do is I have to open up some new cotton rounds because I used all of mine. Currently use the Equate ones. I bounce between, I think it's like the, is it like Swiss or something or? It's the pink, pink and clear packaging. And then the Equate ones. I find these to be okay. They're not as like thick as the other ones that I use, but they're also less expensive. Then the like real brand, like different brand ones, these are the Equate brand, so, but they work just as well. Um, I just put some on a cotton round. Pretty self-explanatory. And because it's just like a cap, it's not like a spray. I mean, if you have a spritz, it's fine, but I always like to wipe down my face, my bangs. If I want to do like a full face type of thing, I would definitely have to wake up early, but I'm already getting like only like four to five hours of sleep, but um, I have to wake up earlier and do it then. Cause I try to do some things with my family during the day, like cause I work weekends too. So I'm just like constantly. Nighttime shift is hard. Like I don't do the like overnight. I need to like midnight, midnight-ish. So, trying to adjust my sleep schedule. This is just my moisturizer. I've been using the same moisturizer. This is actually the second container of it. And I don't mind it. It actually is super hydrating. I did have a few breakouts a couple like weeks ago, but I think that was like menstrual breakout type thing. But, because I, well, it could have been that primer, the like oil based primer from, it's from the same brand. The Touch and Soul brand. We got like an oil one in a tube from BoxyCharm, and I think that one broke me out because I put it all over my face. And that was the only thing that I changed and tried that day, so I don't use that one, needless to say, because I still have the other one. But my moisturizer is the Garnier Skin Active Ultra Lift Miracle Wake Up Cream. And I like it. I like it a lot. Um, it says all day hydration, anti-fatigue, hydrogel moisturizer. I don't use an under eye cream. I just use my moisturizer. I, when I remember, put the No Pore Blem Primer. This is a smooth and pore covering primer. Um, like I said, it's a pore, it says pore covering, not filling. So I do have larger pores. Usually I just take one pump and I kind of just swish it around my hand and I'll just kind of press on my nose. I have like big pores. 
and like my fine line right in the middle here is where I put it too. Same foundation I've been loving is the Revlon Colorstay Full Cover and it's matte. So I feel like this one never really sets down, which I'm not too much of a fan of, um, especially when I'm wearing my work shirt, like if I do my makeup first. No matter how long ago I did it, it never fully sets and it does transfer. So when I go to put like my work uniform on, I tend to get some around the collar. Uh, I'm trying to figure out a way not to do that because I would love to do my makeup prior to my put my uniform on because I like to do it there in the morning. Will be the best time to do it without having a time crunch. Um, but yeah, so I take, a, I don't really use that too, too much. I used to use a lot and cover my entire face, but I haven't found that a necessity lately because I've been going to, like, I've been outside, the sun's been out, and I've been getting um, a little bit darker. So the shade matches me better, and I find that I don't need to put it all over my face, just basically my T-zone. I have a little bit of redness here, redness here, basically where I need it. The frame of my face, usually, I don't really put too, too much. Um, trying to prevent the transfer on my clothes when I change clothes. So I literally just kind of like, I scoop some here, put some here. And then put some on my nose because if I don't, that red mark will never go away. So when I've been using the big round part, usually I alternate between using the triangular sides. Uh, but I find like this is works just as well but like yeah so usually I'll just stay like right here put some on my chin I don't put it like everywhere just like my inner part of my face so that way there when I work it out I don't get that line it's not gonna be too so much of a transfer I already dampened my beauty blender too so when I do, you can add powder to set it. It works. Um, don't always like doing that. So the contour and stuff that I've been using is the, uh, it's from this Cover FX palette. Let me try and clean this off because I'm tired. See, so yeah, I think it's pretty much stained, this black. Just stained it. But... Oh no, gotta love having makeup and using it because then it gets dirty. But this is the Cover FX palette, and we got this in BoxyCharm as well. Um, comes with a couple highlights, a blush, I'll show you. Comes with a contour that I use, like it's every day. And then we have a uh, two highlights here. I mainly use this one. It has more of a golden tone because I like that one better. This is more of a pinky tone. So it's a little bit for everybody who wants the cool, or if they have cool undertones, which is the pink, or if you have warmer ones, which is like the golden. And then I actually like this for a brow bone highlight, this one right here. And it's supposed to be a brightener. I'm not sure if you should put it under your eye or whatever, but I just think it's too shimmery for underneath my eye, so I don't do that. I put it underneath my brow, and I get a lot of comments on my brow highlights. So I had been using this. I actually take this with a big fluffy brush to kind of set, like, underneath my eyes. And I didn't think this shade looks a lot darker in the pan. So it works for me. It's, it's not a problem shade-wise. So I found a use for it because we do have it in there. But there is some sort of like sparkle in it, like a sparkly speck in it. I don't know if I can get my camera to focus, but it does kind of have like sparkles in it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but, but as you can see the contour I've used like a crazy person. I've used it every time. It's my go-to. I use it for crease color as well. Um, for the contour, Recently, I bounce, I have so many brushes, so I just rotate what kind of brushes that I want for a softer, kind of more blown out type of like bronziness. I take this e.l.f. brush and it's huge and fluffy and I enjoy that because it 
helps me blend a lot better. So I literally just dip this in there. I try to get too much. And lately I haven't been doing it. I don't always like warm up my face because like I said, I've been to the beach. Florida ain't that bad. My face ain't that bad. We've been outside and I've got some warmth. So just like a little bit. If I were to do my entire face with the foundation, like full on cover my face with the foundation, I would set this with my translucent, uh, or it's a fair setting powder. Is it a setting powder? I think it's a loose powder, the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, but I'm out of that. So, I just haven't found a new one yet. So if you guys have recommendations on setting powders, I've tried the, um, uh, not Estee Lauder, it's the... What is it? Oh, I can't remember at the moment. Oh, the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I've tried that. I got it um, for free for reviewing purposes from Influencer. Influencer. And I love it, but it's too expensive for me to repurchase. So, But it is a great one, but it's not the most inexpensive one. So I just, I don't use it. I realistically... Don't want to spend that much on a translucent powder some days i put concealer on some days i don't um i'm gonna do my brows real quick because i use concealer to carve them and yeah i'm just gonna have my concealer at the same time instead of having to keep taking it out so i bounce between using a pencil and pomades pomades i usually go to because they're faster i can work with them Better. I don't currently have a pomade that is the correct shade for me. This one that I'm using um, is Auburn. I think it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. This is a dip brow pomade in Auburn. So it has that like red tone, which I don't really have it in my hair. But I wear a visor too, so it's really like not that big of a deal. I could mix it. Um, usually I would mix it, if I were to mix it, with a MAC brow, which I ordered it way too light. I ordered it in blonde. And I use it to mix. I always try to find... I always try to like multi-purpose products because I don't like wasting products and plus a lot of the products are kind of expensive like especially MAC so I got blonde so like you can see like how light that is especially on camera it looks like it's like my skin tone color so I just kind of mix them and we're gonna mix today because I have time to mix but normally, if you don't have time to mix, you'd rather find one that actually uh, is the correct shade. Depending on how often you do your brows, you kind of know the shade that you want. Um, yeah. Usually takes me, I want it, I wish it would take me like five minutes. But I feel like by the time I'm done, it's like 10, 15. I spend the most amount of time on my freaking eyebrows, and that's also why I don't do my eyeshadow, because I take too long. Bop all of my makeup here in front of me on the desk. There's like no rhyme or reason to how they're ordered on the desk. I do have a setup behind me. It's like a little like clothing. <laughs> Let me see. There's like clothing. They're like clothing racks. The store was going out of business and I bought one of the like clothes that they usually stack. They fold clothes on. I'm trying to get all my kids to play together without fighting. It's another thing. I have children. So, I've got to balance kids during the day, try to get a nap in if my daughter naps. That's usually the time that I nap. But of course, usually when I get home, I'm like wired for sound and not tired. So, like, so I think we that probably too late. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this. I feel like the MAC one kind of dries really fast, which is annoying, but what can you do? 
I just use an essence brush. It's really inexpensive. I think I got it from Ulta. So I'm just gonna start from the back. I usually start, sometimes I start from the front, sometimes I go to the back. See, like this is a hot mess. You see how like choppy that was? It's whatever. Cause I'm gonna carve it out anyways, so. It's really not gonna be that complicated. Like it's all over the place here. And you can still kind of see like that red tone to it. I don't wanna waste time. Just taking a concealer. Sometimes I take a concealer. Sometimes I take a duo brow stick from Med Raspin. I bounce between two things. So I don't put it as close as I technically want it to my brows. Are you still filming? Yes. Oh. So then I just take the sponge and then I blend it away so that I don't get it on my brow. Like I am kind of like shaping it the way that I want. I just don't want a majority of the product like all over the brow. Like see how I went over, like I want to kind of fill that in because I want that darker. So I just kind of do this, don't want to clean it up. Almost out of my concealer. It's the Avon True Color, or this cream, creamy. Ideal Nude Cream Concealer. And my shade's Light Wheat. So I'm just gonna run this. Like a rainbow. Y'all, I'm like tired. I'm sorry if my energy is low. I'm like in a daze half the time. I'm just tired. I'm not on anything. I'm just tired. <laughs> I live by that whole, like, I'll make it work philosophy because sometimes I don't have the money to buy thousands of different makeup products, so I work with what I have. Plus that whole, like, not wasting product thing. I love this concealer, though. Avon hasn't released new stuff. I think they did like a tinted moisturizer, but like they haven't really released too many new new. See, so like since I did it closer to my brow this time, I'm like, you can see the line of like where the product is and I hate that. See like this one's like a perfect square and this one's not and this one's a little bit higher. <clears throat> this is where I start to get <laughs> annoyed because I'm like, Look, now it's too far in. So that's what I'm like, screw you, eyebrow. Can we make a triangle? We need an angle. Get it? Try angle. Three angles. Try. It's three. I didn't do it at an angle. I did a straight line. Did you see that? I do a hollow triangle. I do my beauty blender. And I run it up. What can you do? Leave it alone, Vanessa. Vanessa, put it down. Put it down. It's okay. It's okay. We're, we're leaving it. Normally, I don't put primer. It's a timing thing. I have the concealer, but since I'm actually doing eyeshadow, like legit eyeshadow. My mess. This is the other brow thing that I use. It's a dual brow pencil. It's from Red Aspen. It has like a matte side. And then it also has a shimmer side. So it's like an easy product to use. So I use it, it like saves time. Like the main amazingness, super creamy, awesome. It works, so. I'm gonna use the MAC Prep and Prime. I don't know if you guys use this. 
anyone still uses this, I use the Matte Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. And just basic purpose of primers, most people use them to keep your your eyeshadow to last longer, uh, mainly to not crease too, if you have issues with creasing. Primers should, most primers should help prevent the creasing. If they not, if they, if they not, if they don't, um, just try different ones. And then if you still have issues with every single one that you use, things happen some concealers might work better we've got paint pots from Mac if you have like extreme discoloration they have really great coverage so the paint pots will actually cover your veins or discoloration basically you want a blank canvas the yeah, palette that I decided to try out uh, yeah, this is the first time I'm using this or I did a video or tried to do a video and I didn't finish doing it but this is a Tarte palette, and we got it in BoxyCharm, and it's called the like BU Naturally or BU Natural eyeshadow palette. It's very similar to one we received previously. I have it. I could show it to you. Um, a lot of people are comparing it. A lot of people are upset, like, oh my god, you're sending us the same palette. It's not the same palette. It's the Rainforest of the Sea. It's just Tarte has a certain, like, kind of story. They go with, like, all of their palettes. They're very neutral shades. They're very plain browns, um, beiges, pearl, pearlescent whites, uh, creamy like cream shimmers and stuff like that so here's the comparison if y'all just want to see them side by side because I know a lot of people are saying a lot of things um, same shape packaging same setup uh, different designs this is the Rainforest of the Sea I think volume 3 yes and then this is the BU Natural I don't mind the cases being round. They're actually pretty neat and they stack nicely. Uh, they're pretty. I mean, I'll probably save these cases because I hate wasting them. Worst case scenario, they are plastic so you can recycle them as well if you don't want to keep them, but they're so pretty. So I think I'm going to keep them for decor. Find something else to do with them. Maybe I'll just make it a compact because it does have a mirror. Anyhow, I'm going to show you the insides of them so you can see. Now the differences that I have seen. There is only one matte in the Rainforest of the Sea one, which is like a matte nude, which is not a problem because, I mean, we could all use it to set. Everyone does this trend where they set their eyeshadows, uh, their eyeshadow primer or concealer or whatever, so that way there it blends a lot better, so it's good for that. Um, but a bunch of neutral shades. The rest of them are shimmers, so if you're not a shimmer fan, you probably wouldn't like the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. Um, but this one actually I enjoy because it has more mattes in it um, More of like an even amount so this one has um, Let me see it has, it has a satin too not really shimmers um, It has a dark brown matte it has a pink let me just block this here it has a pink, it's got like a shimmery mid-tone brown. We've got a gold satin here. It's not really like a shimmer, it's like a satin. We've also got that kind of warmer nude shade. Uh, it looks white in my camera, but this is more of like a cream, like a lighter cream satin. We've got a really good transition shade. This would be good for transition for my skin tone. That's basically what I would use that for. Uh, it's very close to like the bronzing shade that I like, but it's a little bit, a little bit too warm, kind of like that red, red tone clay that I don't like. Uh, but then we've got like a bronze shimmery shade here. So there's more mattes in this one, which is very nice because I'm not really a huge uh, shimmer fan. So this one, the Rainforest of the Sea, was just a bunch of shimmers and one matte. So those are the differences that I've seen. I'm not butthurt over it. It's a palette that I didn't technically pay for. Like, I mean, I pay $21 a month for the box, but these run, what, 20 something, maybe $30 for palettes, like high end, Tarte to high end brands. Um, and they use like Amazonian clay, like just different ingredients than other 
other companies. So we're gonna use the Be Naturally You, Natural You. I don't know. So if we're gonna do one like, like pretend I'm like in the mindset because I am gonna wear this to work. So, I mean, we can do eyeshadow. It's not like, oh my god, you can't put makeup on. How dare you? I love going to places and seeing people with like nice makeup and stuff. So, I'm just gonna take. I think it's earthy, which is just like a neutral shade for me. It's like my lid shade, my skin tone, whatever you may want to call it. I don't know what you want me to call it. I gotta move my mirror. I'm trying not to get it in the frame, but it's inevitable. I'm gonna get it in there. So, I have to put that all over, and I'm not gonna spend too much time because I wanna wear my yucks. And we have. I'm going to show you the time of constantly checking the time. I didn't set an alarm, which I probably should have set an alarm. So like I said, so I'm going to take the same fluffy brush. I have a color switch where I don't even know where that thing is. I think it's on my vanity, not a vanity, but... I also stand for long periods of time, so my back hurts. <laughs> just, just let you know, my back hurts, so... I'm gonna take a color switch. When I brush in it, it's gonna take the color off so that it doesn't transfer. I'm gonna take that shade I talked about. It's a perfect transition shade. My battery's about to die. Of course you are. Of course you are. How dare I film a video? So I'm just gonna place it. It's very pigmented, so you really don't need that much. Don't blow in your products, your eyeshadows. You put germs from your mouth in there and it's gross. I'm gonna take this kind of like creamy shade because it's beautiful and I want it and I want it and I want to do it. Usually I don't put shimmers first but for the sake of me running out of time. I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush before. I wanna darken up the edges because I'm feeling spicy today so spicy I don't know it's like a good like smokiness don't make that big of a deal if you mess up just clean it off do it again I bring mine a little bit higher because I don't really have hooded lids but I have something going on here like I lose quite a bit of the color so I'm not gonna look down like this all the time it's just hey I did my shot today do you like it no. <laughs> no. What do I do for highlight? I'm going to take this even lighter white satin. It's a satin. It is not a shimmer. It's a lot softer, see? It's not as like wham bam. I might actually take the one. That ain't shabby though. It's not bad. Not the prettiest, but. And then I'll just do like a mascara. I mean. I'm gonna put liner, the red aspen, um, Naomi's Glam Bam in black. I ain't that big of a deal. Put that there. Go too low. I just kinda if I wanted to I could smudge. This fluffy brush is not as big as the other one. I'm gonna take the same, like, similar colors. The crease color that I did. Run it under. I actually didn't even. S I didn't do concealer, did I? Oh my god. I didn't do concealer. What's wrong with me? I'm just gonna add concealer because I feel like it'll look weird if I don't add concealer. Like, I didn't put anything down there. I think my concealer is drying out, so that's nice. I want to switch. Do I even have another concealer? I don't even think I have another concealer. We're like real life people, like we don't even keep up with buying makeup and like replenishing it. Usually I have a fan going while I'm doing this because usually for some reason in this room I get really warm because of that light. 
big Morphe. I take that powder, that big powder thing that I told you that I take here, the finishing powder. I literally just run it. You don't really see the shimmer specks. I just see them. I see them in the pan. I don't see them when I put it on my face. Then I take the smudge. You just smudge the colors. Smudge the eyeshadow colors if you want to smudge it. I'm just going to take a little bit. Look up. Adios. I dipped it in shimmer. I never want to put shimmer in there. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. I'm gonna do it in a corner with the gold. Usually I match my brow bone highlight, but meh. we're not doing that today. Boom. All right, so mascara, I wanted to use the Smashbox X-rated. My other ones are all dried out, my Tarte. Uh, my Tarte Gifted, I love this one. Mine currently needs to be thrown away because it's all dried out. I like putting on mascara to make it not look like there's mascara. This one's clumpy, so I'm a little nervous. But I guess it's still pretty wet. I have a lot of samples that I haven't opened. But I just put like a very little bit. Like I just used this kind of little tiny brush. And I used the eyeshadow that I used and I shut my eye and I put it over the mascara smudges. <laughs> my daughter's in here on her pack and play. But, uh, and then I used, it's not like for this obviously, but I just went like this, give it my lashes some shape. And this mascara is pretty, like, pretty wet finisher. But I don't like to give too many opinions from the sample sizes or whatever, the, like, trial sizes. Cause if this brush is the same in the big one, have you guys used the bigger Smashbox X-rated? It's supposed to be a volumizing one. It's wet. Like, super wet, and it's annoying that it gets everywhere. Like that's how the Better Than Sex Mascara worked for me. It was, it was a hot freaking mess. So I used the drugstore version and the brush on that one doesn't do that. I used his angled brush for blush. I love using that for blush. Remind me that I have to use this Morphe palette, this Morphe highlight palette. It's the high impact highlighter palette. I bought this every single time I go to use it, I forget to use it. So remind me, don't let me forget. We have the color Carete Blush Trio. Carete. Are you pulling things off the windows here, you wild child? You wild child, Carolina. Carolina. My daughter. She's silly. Like, is this lighting? We can look like I have a smustache. I don't, so. Apollo days. The Alamar blush trio. Yep. So, in case you haven't seen it, this is also from was in Boxy Charm. Hello lights. There's my camera. So it looks like I love orange blushes right now. I'm obs obsessed. Is that what they say? Obsessed. I'm shook. Probably late on that train. I dip my brush just like boop 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 should probably just tap but I start from the back so there's not too much in the forward put more start from the back girl Luna now my dog's coming in here everyone's interrupting me now I'm almost done thank god you could smile if you want. Oh, 
I go all the way up my temples. That's just what I personally do. You don't have to do it. That's what I do. A little bit more. Probably like, are you a very crazy person at work. They'd be like, oh my god, like, how do you have so, many makeup, so much makeup on your face? So it's kind of this, like, really dark right here. I'm just going to take this, like, big fluffy brush with nothing on it and just kind of diffuse it, a.k.a. blend it so it's not so freaking harsh. The lighting on my camera makes it seem like it's not, but, like, real life, I'm going to be in people's faces real life. So I need to not look crazy. Um, I went back to using this foundation brush. It's supposed to be, this is a Royal Lanical Silk from their Silk Pro collection. And this is the Natural Foundation C220. I love this for highlight. Because it's like kind of fluffy. And I actually like the shape. And it's good to like blend it too. We're going to use that palette for once. Hi sweet angel. <laughs> Oh, also, I left this downstairs. There's no mirror, so that's awesome for camera-wise. But I left this downstairs, and my son stuck his finger in it and put it in his hair. Yeah, he put it in his hair. Anywho, you have, like, a lavender one. Ultraviolet Aurora Trance Galactic Comet Big Bang Mirage and Meteor. So we've got lavender and pink and like a duochrome bronzy pink. We've got the goldeny whatever <laughs> bronze. It shows up pink on camera, but it's like it's like a bronzy pink. Oh, well, it's a pink undertone. It's like straight up gold kind of highlight and then this one's like a darker deeper kind of mustardy shimmer yellow brownish <laughs> like highlight it's every color of the rainbow highlight and then this one's more of like a deeper golden so it's like this one just a little bit darker kind of so I don't know how I feel about it I feel like there's too many choices I take galactic because it's the most normal looking highlight in here And that is this one right here because for work I didn't put the purple one on because <laughs> I don't want to wear a purple one to work. So I'm just gonna put that on there. And I'll put it like on the end of my brush too. Put it like on the end. Throw it all the way at my temple. I should probably tap that off. It's like, it's super pigmented, so like, less is more. And, wow, it's like frosty. You see that? Huh, I'm like banking on it fading so that I don't look too crazy. This is more than I normally wear, but if I were to do like a normal like workday makeup, if I wanted to look kind of not like not made up a little bit do this probably gonna run the spoolie for my brows got a few gaps right here I don't want to see not gaps but like my hair is not really where it should be just gonna make sure that looks pretty nifty I do like what the mascara does like on camera it looks like I have no lashes now but like it does give more length not really so much volume though it's a volumizing one but it's like super wet it smudges against my lash line I'm not even like pushing that hard either there's like barely any pressure and I still make a hot mess with it so that's another reason why I don't think I've used that one in a while um usually every three months you should switch out your mascaras anyways but I've done the Marc Jacobs I don't even know Grandio no I don't even know what this was Omega Lash Volumizing Mascara. It's okay. I think mine was dry though. So I like this brush, these types of brushes better. Like the normal bristled brush. Uh, like this one just makes a mess on me and that's what gives me a bad impression. But um, I don't know if I should go off the trial sizes though. Because there's like, you know, some people think they're not the same. Bless you baby girl. As the big ones. So. 
I've also done the Wander Beauty. This one's also dried out though, so I care. Like I loved it when it's normal. Um, has a bit of a curvature to it, so. Or like a doo -doo. And I like those. I like those types too. And I like the fact that it looks like a, oh, this one says six months, but it's dry as hell. So I need to throw it away because it's useless to me now. Uh, Wonder Beauty. I liked it. It was great. I loved the Gifted from Tarte. Their mascaras, the Lights, Camera, Lashes mascaras is one of my favorites as well, but I like the Gifted better. Uh, if they come up with a waterproof, is this waterproof? No. If they come up with a waterproof version, do they have a waterproof version? Or do they get the waterproof? But the bristle is like perfection. So. Alright. So I'm just going to put a normal gloss under it. If I have a picture, I'll insert it here. My battery is about to die. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I hope to have another video up soon. I love you guys. Feel free to subscribe if you want to. And like this video. It would help me out. And comment. Let's chit chat. How are you doing? What are you doing? How's your summer going? <laughs> okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.